Hello, this is Mitch King with the Daily Stock Report from Trade Stocks America. Wednesday, January 7th, this is the Standard & Poor's 500. And the pattern we're looking for, we saw today, is a nice little correction here. Let's take a closer look at this. And I'm drawing here a support line that we're, this trend line we've got here in the yellow line, looks like we're close to getting that in the next day or two. And I'm looking for that support to be a support, and this is generally what we're looking for in a lot of these stocks. If you look at the table of stocks in the report the last couple nights, especially tonight, you can see that we sold yesterday, and we're waiting and watching for a lower price on many stocks. And let's take a look at a few other stocks. We've got the same pattern here with ExxonMobil. We've had a couple of days of correction on ExxonMobil. Looks like to me oil's probably the right day to cover any little swing shorts that you did on GDP and COG. Goodrich Petrol and oh, COG is Cabot Oil and Gas. Oil might have a reversal after an initial drop. Try to look at the spot oil prices before the market opens. You can see that oil is trading before stocks trade. And get, you'll get an idea of what that trend is going to be. But I expect it to have a little bit of downside opening, and if it drops quite a bit, we might see a pretty nice reversal in the oil stocks. Here's Schnitzer Steel. It's a steel stock that has had a small correction. Looks like it's a really nice trend line up. It lo doesn't look like this is going to correct too much, so we're adding this to an intermediate trade position. It could be a swing, or depending on how long it lasts. So this may be worth a small amount of money on the long side in the next couple days. Here's FXI with the Xinhua 25. Let's draw another line here and you can see just generally what I'm looking at here. We're really close to buying. I, I put a little money to this on a gradual basis tomorrow. Let the market open down. That's what I'm looking for at least. To try to get a little better price on this stock. I know we've been trading a little more than we anticipated, but with those nice moves we saw, I really wanted to capture that 8 to 10% you guys made. And if you didn't capture it yesterday, you probably gave it all back today. And that was my logic. And we, we should have a little more down pressure tomorrow and look for some sort of reversal to higher highs in the coming weeks. Here's an intraday trade that was really good on RIM. You can see it opened down a little bit, about 50, 60 cents, dropped down further another 50 cents, and then had a real nice signal, a nice reversal. Went from 45 and a quarter to 48, about almost 48 straight right on this run here. That's a 5.5% move on an intraday swing, really on an intraday trade. That's excellent. Let's take a look a little closer at the technical indicators that support this stock. At the bottom you see the stochastics is yellow and blue. Nice turn up here as well as the MACD right in here. So if you click your left mouse on most of these trading platform charts you can get a crosshair and you look at the vertical line. At the bottom you see 1050 which is the time Eastern which is 750 Pacific time. You can see all of these indicators turning up including the moving average, the MACD, the st full stochastics, which you see in the percent %K and percent %D in the yellow and blue at the bottom window pane. If we added more indicators, which is called a study, we can add the Williams percent %R right here. We'll get the same type of picture. Usually that is, usually that's red, which is the standard that I like and you can use this to follow. But I find it's a little too much information. I'm the last six, nine, you know, some months I've been using just the MACD and the stochastics. But some guys really like the percent R, Williams percent R, which works as well too. See how they line up? That's what you're looking for every day on the intraday swing trades as well as your other timelines like you know, 15-minute charts can be used for the swing trade entries and exit points. So you've got to learn how to use these charts. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.